In this guitar instruction video, we're going to go over um, hammer-ons and pull-offs, which is pretty essential for um, for lead playing. Um, what a hammer-on is, I'm over here on the first string, fifth fret, and with my first and second finger, my first finger is down the note, and with my second finger, I'm just hammering on. Remember, it's better to approach the guitar neck like this instead of like this because you're going to have more control and more coordination. So it's almost like you're making a handshake, especially when you're playing leads. That's eventually what you want to get to. Um, so see if you're playing a lead. And you just want to whip through some hammer-ons. So if you've never done a hammer-on before, just, it's just a hammer-on. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start with this little exercise right here. I'm going to show you the first one. So we're going to start on the fifth fret, the first string, and we're going to play fifth, sixth, and eighth frets with our first, second, and fourth fingers. And we're going to go from the first string down to the sixth string. So what you do is you just hit that first note. You're gonna hammer on with your second and then your fourth fingers. So try that a few times. Try it. And you can go down the strings. And eventually you get some speed. A lot of times you hear guys playing fast. If you're looking to play quickly, then um, hammer ons are it. And then we'll start adding the pull-offs and we'll put them all together. We'll combine them. So, once again, fifth, sixth, and eighth frets. And all six strings using my first, second, and fourth fingers. And I'm just, just hitting the note once. I'm just plucking the note once with my expression hand. Also, what we can do, we can use another exercise second staff right there we'll start on the sixth string and use our first third and fourth fingers on the fifth seventh and eighth frets for every string so i'm starting up here fifth fret sixth string first finger hit it once if you want to just practice with one finger go up and down the strings you can and then you can go with your first third and fourth Play it slow. Then eventually, you're gonna get some, some speed to it. Yeah, I'm losing my guitar there. All right, those are hammer-ons. You can use your third to your fourth finger, your second to your third. You can use all four fingers, just hit that first note. We're going one, two, three, four. It's a good exercise, good warm up as well. Playing the scale, the hammer ons, pull offs. All right, now the next section, we're going to go to pull-offs. Hammer-ons and pull-offs, very, very important, equally as important. So we'll just do some pull-offs separately. And what we're doing, we're starting with our fourth finger. And we're going to start on the first string, eighth fret with the fourth finger. And we're going to play four, two, one. So you're just going to go... Okay, I can pluck it once, pluck it, pull off, pull off the second finger. If you want, you can just practice your fourth to your first finger and play, pull off. So I'm putting a hammer on there too, but I'm pulling off with the tip of my finger, I pull off. Just like, it's, just like it sounds, literally pull off. 
with a tip. You can use your third finger, your second finger. You do that a lot when you start doing some tapping. I thought I heard with tapping, this is just actually your right hand. This is the right hand uh, hammer on. It's gotta be 12 frets away for it to actually be tap tapping, so that's the technical. But get back to the pull off, so you can go four, two, one, next string, four, two, one. Eighth, sixth, and fifth frets, and then eventually get some speed. So, speed is a goal, but it's not the most important thing. You want to do it accurately. So I'm doing a hammer run, and I can do the pull off, combine them, go one, three, four, and go four, two, one. Combine them. Another pull off that we can do exercise, I was on the bottom here. Instead of starting on the first string, we're gonna start on the sixth string, start on the eighth fret with the fourth finger, and just play. So I'm pulling off four to the third. Once again, if you just wanna do the four to one, or four to three, or three to two, to practice, but in this little run, say if you're playing another run, another lead, so you can just do this run. I went from the eighth fret to the seventh fret to the first fret, and I'm pulling off with my third and fourth fingers. I can hammer on, pull off, hammer on with my first finger, I can pluck that note. And then go up. And then I can combine them all. Okay, that was the first hammer-ons. That was the first one on top. Pull off. And then I can do the very one, the, the uh, that was the hammer-ons rather on top, and then I can do the pull-offs on the bottom. So if I start with the hammer-ons, combine them. So eventually, do a hammer-on pull-off right in the extension. Hammer-on pull-offs. Hardly plucking that. So these exercises for the hammer-ons and pull-offs, very essential to help you with your lead playing. That's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video on hammer-ons and pull-offs, uh, these exercises. And um, if you have any questions, please post. Or any comments, please post. And I'm really enjoying making these videos for you guys. And um, keep playing and have fun.